We are reading today from Sri Sri Dada Rasa Sudanibi, verse 68. Sri Sri Dada Rasa Sudanibi, verse 68. Aho, Rade, it is only by great fortune that someone can be absorbed in meditating on your sweet holy name, Radha, that sprinkles a transcendental light of amorous rasta. That is worshipable by hundreds of young girls of Raja Mandala. whose extraordinary beautiful pastimes are again embarrassing millions of goddesses of fortune. I repeat, oh, Radhe, it is only by great fortune that someone can be absorbed in meditating on your sweet holy name, Radha, that sprinkles the transcendental light of amorous rasa, that is worshipable by hundreds of young girls of Raja Mandala, whose extraordinary beautiful pastimes are again embarrassing millions of goddesses of fortune. The sweet Radha name. Radha. <laughs> this Gopi Bhav is your spiritual identification. Means when you believe in the soul, that is Gopi Bhav. Explain the other one. Uh, <clears throat> at first, uh, we have uh, material consciousness. Material consciousness means we have ego. We want to enjoy. We want to control. We want to judge someone. That is material uh, consciousness. And if beyond material consciousness, we have soul consciousness. Soul consciousness uh, we have, we don't have uh, no false ego. Good day. One. Then, if we want to put one again, one plus one is two. But sometimes we want to, we are, we are higher, we are senior, we are more advanced, then we sometimes uh, disharmony with someone else. Then uh, disharmony is happening. Then sometimes one minus one, equal zero. So if 
we are soul consciousness. Also, we respect others also soul consciousness. Then, Guru Dev used to say, one and one. If we become humble, then we, I say, we go to the same position with other, others. Huh? Then that one, one, one become eleven. So and soul consciousness. We fortunate. We got to attract Krishna. And we try to surrender Krishna. So Guru Dev said this soul consciousness go to Krishna. That's Guru Dev say this is Gopi, Gopi Baba. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if we soul go to Krishna, soul want to connect to Krishna. But the problem is there. Because Krishna's nature is a uh, uh, enjoyer. Krishna's nature is independent nature. Krishna's nature is chanchari. We can to What line is that? Not have your subject. So read again. Okay. Ahu it is only by great fortune that someone can be absorbed in meditating on your sweet holy name, Radha, that sprinkles a transcendental light of amorous rasa. Read first line first. First line. Yeah. Yeah, we are we are reading this. Okay. Read, uh, Again. This is first. Huh? This is first line. Are you? Just a verse. Yes, this shiroka first line. First sentence. That is worshipable. By hundreds of young girls of Raja Mandala. That is the Only in Raja you can get it. Okay. It's not the house of Raja. And three fools. Whose extraordinary, beautiful pastimes are again embarrassing millions of goddesses of fortune. Yeah. <coughs> this cannot pass through the goddess mm. of fortune. Yeah. Hundred of goddesses. Is there Okay. Not much. Not much. I have to explain that to go to them. Okay. So this bus, Lada's name. Glory is there. So, Radha Rani and Radha's name and same. And Radha 
could give pleasure, most pleasure to Krishna, Moha. Radhika could feel for all desire of Moha. This is the sweet holy name of Radha. The sprinkles a transcendental light of Amaras Dasa. So Radhika has uh, food of rasa, especially this amaras rasa. Thanks. All young girls of Brajamanda and gopis, they are very respect of Radha, they want to follow Radha. All gopis worship Sri Radha because she has all nice qualities, 64 nice qualities. Also, Radhika is Fradini Shakti. Radhika is pleasure giving po uh, potency to personify. And Radhika's pastime, including Maharasa, they're completely amazed, astonished, God of Goddess of Fortune, Lakshmiji, in Vaikuntha. In Vaikuntha, in Vaikuntha, some rasa is missing. <coughs> Especially Amaras rasa is missing. Once, Lakshmiji had very sweet pastime of Radha and Moha and Maharasa. Lakshmiji was completely astonished because Narayan and Lakshmiji's relationship is Aishwarya Baba. So they, they may say, many people say, Lakshmi is wife of Narayan. But the Aishwarya Baba, <laughs> lacking Madura mood, Amaras mood. So Lakshmiji want to uh, take part uh, in, in the pastime of Radha and Krishna, Radha Moha. And then she did so much tapasya and penance near Brindavan in Beruban. But uh, she could not become even gopis. She could not the mood of gopi, mood of Radhika. Lakshmiji couldn't give up the opulence all and all and reverence mood. But 
this is radicalism. Extraordinary rasa. Past time. It's embarrassing. Millions of goddess fortune. Or sometimes radicals with quality. Astonishing. Even among the gopi, even gopis. Because gopi may have personal desire. I want to I want to Krishna to be Samboga or Krishna. The slightest some tendency of enjoyment Gopi may have. But she does not have any personal desire. Her first priority is how to please Mohan. If Mohan will please, Radhika accepts any difficulty or any sorrow or any difficulty. That difficulty is that sorrow become, become like a pleasing. Because radicals only aim only mission is how to please Mohan. She does not care personal enjoyment, personal happiness, anything. And who could understand that radicals feeling and radicals good. Gopi may understand to some extent that the Gopi and radicals heart is not one because Gopi has personal desire. Mm -hmm. I have read in Radhana Sassani one bus, one explanation. If we have slightest personal desire, then we cannot become Brajavasi. If we have slightest personal desire, then we cannot become Brajavasi. That means Burajabashi has no personal desire. <laughs> but still, Gopi has smallest some tendency to to own enjoyment or some independent nature. Because Gopi desire Krishna. Krishna's nature, independent. You want to enjoy. He has the sanctuary mood. So therefore, if our consciousness go to Krishna, we may have tendency 
If our mind go to Sri Radha, if we chant Radha's name, and if we one is Radha's name, and Radhika in one point. ラカコンタバ。ポジャコ。ユクイ。ネクストウィズラ。え、ユクアバコンシャスネビタム。ワンイズラダ。ミンスフォーフォーザプレジャブラダ。ゼアバコンシャスネスビタム。Or our Baba becomes Thai Baba. So this is Radha Dashi's mood. So Radha Dashi Manjari is completely Thai. Manjari has no other desire than to please Radha or Radha's Moha. Here I mentioned Lakshmiji. Lakshmiji has Aishwar Baba. In Buraja, Aishwar Baba covered by Madura. So Gopi is much better than Lakshmiji. Among the Gopis, Radicals, radicals, top most. And uh, who can understand radicals feeling? Who can serve Radha and Radha's Mohan very intimately? That person is called Radha Dasi. Kinkari, Oa. Manjari. So they, they knew Radha's heart. They could understand Radha's feeling and also Radha's Mohan's feeling. They know how they could meet certain point. They know, Manjari knows how to please them according to time, place, and circumstances. So we, we now read uh, Anandas Baba's explanation. This is very wonderful. And also, we want to hear Guru David's uh, a sweet uh, explanation in this class. The sweet Radha name commentary. The Padma Purana says, Abhi Advan Nama Nami No. There is no difference between God and his holy name. And Sri Jiva Goswami has written, The Supreme Lord appears before the eyes of the devotees that are anointed with the salve of love and he reveals himself on the tongues that are made of loving devotion in the form of his holy name. Wow, this is also very beautiful. <laughs> so like an example, we want to we have we want to meet somebody. 
Say, if we want to see Guru Dev. So, Sundaran, hai il microfono chiuso. So, so if we have love for Guru Dev, then as soon as we saw Guru Dev, then tears come in. This is so much pleasure. We embrace very tightly or sometimes softly. And so much feeling is coming. But if we don't have any love for Guru Dev, then even we met Guru Dev, we meet Guru Dev. Maybe not so much feeling. Okay. So if we love somebody, then <laughs> so if we love. So if we love someone, then if we chant that that lover's name, then we can remember everything. Okay, can you hear? Can you hear? Okay. Now it's okay. Yeah, so then. if we love someone. Some lovers, then if we chant the lover's name, then we can remember when we meet, what kind of pastime we did, 
what kind of loving exchange we did. What is uh, our lover's good qualities? Our lover's beauty, elegance, etc. Immediately we remember. And then so much greed and feelings coming. Then we think, oh, we want to meet. So I have to call. For I have to make phone call. I have to make appointment to see my lover. So similarly, if we love Lada and Lada's Mohan, all these Lada, Lada and Lada's Mohan's good quality and pastime appear in the heart. And so much greed, so much feelings coming. When can I meet my lover, my other, and others more? When can I serve certain seva in Nikunja or near Jamuna or So today, today we we went to Govardhan. So and then one place we visit. This 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 is a place which Rasaliza is happening. <coughs> so but of course we are Manjari. We are not uh, enjoying Rasalira. We are just uh, seer. We are preparing how to serve our Swami. <coughs> when she is tired, when she needs something. So Manjari is always ready to do everything. So at that time, Ladarani Mohan danced together so ecstatically. Then they're so ecstatic. They, their heart become like one. And then start meditating. Then that Lada become one Kunda. Mohan become one Kunda. So a few days ago, we are reading Chaitan Charita Murisa. So this Chait uh, Lamandaya and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu conversation. And then one point, Lada and feeling, and Mohan's feeling, and meditating become one. Not only one. Sometimes Lada is, you know, completely bewildered. Vivarta, complete mud. Lada thinking, oh, I'm Mohan. Mohan also Vivarta, you know, Vivarta. And Mohan thinking, oh, I'm Lada. This exchange is happening. 
that is Nikunjalira. That's only Manjali, Radha Dash could see. And what could feel, what's, what's going on? So today, today we also we try to try to meditate. Or oh, how Radha Radha's Mohan becomes so mad, like a feeling is one. Not only one, he can meditate. So I have some desire to 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 go and touch because uh, so we we had a past Chaitanya uh, Charitamrita and and Mahaparam Pasta. Sorry. <laughs> Therefore, the self manifest holy name of Sri Radha is automatically manifest in the hearts and on the tongues of the most fortunate great souls whose eyes are anointed with the self of love. According to the authors of the Rasa, there are three levels of consorts of Krishna according to the amount of their selfless love. Sadaranirati, Samanjasarati, and Samartarati. Ujvalani Lamani teaches us. The love that arises from directly seeing Hari, which is not too deep, and which is the abode of the desire for personal enjoyment, is called Sadharani, or ordinary Rati. For example, as soon as Kubja saw Krishna, she thought, let me be united with this most beautiful jewel of man. Let me make he who made me happy by showing himself to me happy for some time with my service. This rati arises from the desire for personal enjoyment and thus is called ordinary love. The love in which the lady sings herself the beloved the beloved's wife which arises from hearing about the beloved's qualities and so and which is sometimes mixed with desires for personal happiness is called samanjasarati or proper and reasonable love This love appeared in the hearts of Rukmini and other consorts when they heard about Krishna's glories from persons like Narada Muni. These 
Samanjasa converts sometimes sing. Krishna spends more time with some other queen who apparently loves him more. And he spends less time with me. If I could behave with the same loving expertise as that queen, then I could also capture Krishna like she does. When that thought arises, the love is mixed with the desire for personal enjoyment and loses some of its depth. Then there is one very special love which is fully united with Rati and which consists of the pure desire to please Krishna in union. <laughs> that love is called Samartha or Cape. That love is called Samarta or Capable Love. This love is not dependent on first seeing Krishna or hearing about him. makes the consort forget all about her honor, her family, and her patience, and cannot be mixed with any personal desires. When the love becomes deeper, it becomes Mahabhava. The word Eva here means that the appearance of Mahabhava in the Sadharani and Samanjasaratis is unthinkable. This Samartarati is the exclusive property of the beautiful girls of Raja. That is why this text says millions of goddess of fortune are embarrassed by the extra special attributes of the playful adolescent girls of Raja. But even these extra special gopis worship the holy name of Radha, without Radha's mercy, Krishna cannot be attained. Wow. <laughs> So we have been reading Bhagavad Gita, chapter 10, 15th verse. Without Krishna's internal potency, we cannot understand Krishna. 
So we start to gather learnings. Energy. Or rather that is mercy. We cannot understand Krishna. Here Baba said, without radical mercy, Krishna cannot be a thing. Without Krishna's energy, without Krishna's internal energy, without Krishna's yoga maya, how can we meet Krishna? How can I attain Krishna? It is impossible. So therefore, someone who worship without Radha, only Krishna worship is not proper. So therefore, our Gaudiya Vaishnava always worship his, his energy and himself. Energy become fast. Radha Moha. Radha Krishna. So always Radha is fast. So this is very, very interesting, important verse. If someone could explain more nicely, or Radha Charan Prabhu, or I don't know, Sunnichi, or Gauranga Sundara, or maybe Gauranga Sundara Prabhu, could you help us to understand this sense? Without radical mercy, Krishna cannot be a thing. <laughs> is there? Yeah. So if you could say Gauranga, it will be very nice. Yeah. Maybe some other devotees also they have rather Charan Sunitiji. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so but we want to hear at first your you know, reading your so Prabhupada Saraswati, in the first line of the words, is saying that those persons who are chanting Radha's name is a greatly fortunate person, unlimited fortune. And and then, and then, in the purport, Baba is explaining through this three different ratis which different devotees have actually he is explaining that these three different kinds of devotees they have krishna in the focus it doesn't matter if they are Sadarana, Samanjasa, or Samartarati. They all have Krishna in the focus of their hearts and in their minds. And Baba is saying that even these most exalted devotees, Samarta, Gopis, they have to chant Radhika's name to attain Krishna. So if the gopis has to chant Radhika's name to attain Krishna, if the goddess of fortune has to surrender to Radhika's name to attain Krishna, then what to speak about us, sadhakas? So they are such a sublime, exalted persons but they have to surrender to Radha's name. These two beautiful syllables, Radha. And even 
Krishna has to surrender to her name, Radha, to attain Radha. Because by singing Krishna's name, Radha, uh, sorry, Radhika's name, Krishna wants to attain Radhika, and sometimes she appears, and sometimes she doesn't appear. Because it's her sweet will to appear in the tongue or in the heart of person who is chanting her name. So the mood of chanting Radha's name has to be completely sweet, loving, without offenses, and must be in that mood, it must be completely focused, stay above. And we can see Anathadas Babaji is speaking about different devotees, gopis, um, dvarakavasis, or uh, even kubja. They have, and even Krishna, he's adding, they have to chant Radha's name to attain Radhika. And also devotees who want to attain the position of Bhavola Sarati, which is above of these three Ratis. Bhavola Sarati, Manjari Bhava. They, they are drowning in the name of Radha. For them, for them, these two syllables are not only the name. For them, these two syllables of Radha are actually appearance of Radhika, form of Radhika. Yeah. It's not just the words, it's not just the syllables. It's Radhika's eyes, Radhika's flavor, Radhika's voice, Radhika's hands, breasts, face. If we are not meditate on beloved Ishtadev while we are while we are chanting the name of Ishtadev, then this kind of chanting is good, very good. But love is missing, and there is always possibility to stay on impersonal level. Because when Acharyas are singing, Pure devotees, rustic devotees, they are chanting, singing, or in the mind, they are chanting the name of Radhika. Immediately, they are immersed in Radha Nama, Radha Rupa, Radha Guna qualities, and Radha Lila pastimes. And because they are immersed in the pastimes and in the form and in the qualities of Radharani, they can relish the name. For example, Vrajavasis, they know Radharani. And many of them are chanting also, not chanting, but talking about Radhika and speaking, pronouncing her name. But their mood, their bhava is different. And they cannot penetrate and go deeply in the relishing of Radha's name. And here, Baba is trying to give us opportunity to relish Radhika's name by giving different examples. How everyone has to generally chant Radha's name to attain Krishna, because even Krishna is chanting her name to attain her. 
and ultimately Bavola Sarati, Radhika's maidservants, want to chant Radha's name, to speak about Radha's name, because when they are speak about Radha's name, they are speaking automatically. They, it's, we cannot avoid it. To speak about her form, her beauty, her sweetness, her compassion. And automatically we can avoid, if we say Radha, to remember some small, at least small pastimes. The most important thing is that what Jiva Goswami in the beginning of the commentary is saying that the name is not different from the God. He is saying from the God. This is general instruction. And every devotee, each devotee has to apply to his own Ishtadev. In our case, if we want Radharani, then our Radharani is Ishtadev. So there is no difference between Radha, like a person, her form, her name, her beauty, her pastimes. There is no difference with her name. So this, uh, I, maybe Chet, um, Janandaji will remember me better, but this is in Chaitanya Charitamrita. It's very nicely said that Nama Vigraha Svarupa Tina Ekarupa Nama Vigraha embodiment of Nama is Svarupa. Svarupa, spiritual embodiment of Nama. And there is no difference, ekan rupa, between person and the name of that transcendental person. If we don't have this shraddha, faith, that name and person are no difference, it's very difficult to chant without offenses. And if we are convinced, if we have faith that there is no difference between Radha and her name, automatically mind will start to think about her beautiful form, her beautiful qualities, and her beautiful pastimes. And her beautiful pastimes, all the, her pastimes are in connection with Krishna. So without chanting Radha's name, it's not possible to attain, to deeply understand Krishna. And it's not possible to serve him. Because through the name, Radhika will give, infuse, devotee, all necessary love, which is necessary to serve her lover, through the name. And this is the potency of mantra, that heart be infused with the name and feelings which are coming in the name. Feelings are present in the name, and we have to feel it, not only understand it. Because what if someone doesn't know to read, illiterate, foolish, but if he feels the name, he received the mercy of the name, and he received the mercy of person who has name in his heart. Then his job is done. Mm. He doesn't have to be sannyasi, 
Brahmana, Grihastha, Vanaprastha, Brahmachari, automatically by chanting the Radha's name, he is becoming Radha Dasi, Anudasi, Anudasi, Anudasi. But if there is no, if there is no attachment for Radhika, there will be no attachment for her name. And if there is attachment for her name, automatically will come attachment for all Radhika's personality. So we need the mercy of Radha's name through her representative also. And then the heart will start to chant. And because the heart is chanting, the tongue is dancing according to Radhika's name. It's not artificial, religious ritual to chant. No, to feel. And like Jayanandaji said, to call, please, Radhe. I know who am I. You know who am I. But please be merciful. One of your beautiful mercy qualities to be merciful. Please enter in my heart, enter in my tongue, and enter in my mind. And when some devotees praying in different verses, please enter in my tongue, it means please enter in my heart. But like a Gurudev said, he mentioned that in the beginning, we cannot enter in this secret with bodily consciousness of life, we need to change our materialistic identity, Purusha Abhiman, in Prakriti Abhiman. Or Gurudev is saying, Gopi Bhav. First, I have to accept that I am the soul Prakriti, it means female. This is my understanding when Gurudev is focusing and saying Gopiba. Because soul in her original position is a female. Only is the one Purusha. Krishna. And from that level, then, if we accept, understand, and try to live like a, in that Abhiman, I am soul, immediately will come a second question. What is my relationship with the source of my existence? And then independence comes on a proper place. The devotee chooses by his own will or feel his own feelings. Like Prabhupada in Bhagavad Gita say, I want this relationship, that relationship, this relationship, that relationship. But the beginning stage, basic stage is I have to accept that I, I will never be Purusha. And because I was thinking that I am controller, I am enjoyer, I am under the influence of Maya, not Daili Shakti, Maya Shakti. <laughs> this is the basic mm. understanding, otherwise, all lilas, all mantras, we will chant from the bodily conception of life. 
And this is not <laughs> the process. Mm, beautiful. And Radha's name will help devotees who are sincere and eager in attainment of this goal. Daddy. Daddy, Daddy. I'm sorry. Thank you. Daddy. Beautiful. Without Radha's mercy, Krishna cannot be attained. Therefore, even the beautiful girls of Raja always worship the holy name of Radha to attain the jewel named Krishna. Sri Prada writes in verse 95, even the Lord of Gokula, Sri Krishna, is immediately attracted by the repetition of the holy name of Radha. When Krishna hears someone chanting the name of Radha, When Krishna hears someone chanting the name of Radha, he does not only save that person from going to hell at the time of death, as he did when Ajamila chanted the name of his son Narayana, but he even runs after the chanter to give himself completely to him. Wow. Wow. When the gopis chant the holy name of Radha, <coughs> Krishna comes to hear it and tells them. Hmm. My dear Saki, Daddy, Daddy, sorry for the internet problem. I hope you can hear us. My dear Saki, who chanted Radha's name when I heard it, my heart was soothed. How many names are there not in Gokula? None of them can agitate my heart like this one. Some internet villa. <laughs> so none of the names can agitate my heart like this one. How much sweetness is there in this name, which fills my ears with sweetness and causes her form to crystallize in my heart. Mm -hmm. 
everyone is going to appreciate it. So which fills my ears with sweetness and causes her form to crystallize in my heart. Yadu Nandana weeps. All my desires will be fulfilled when I see with my very when I see with my very eyes. By worshipping Radha's holy name, the gopis become the object of Krishna's complete love. Srila Narottama Dasa Thakura laments for those who have no love for chanting Radha's name. Glory, glory to the holy name of Radha that resides in Vrindavana. And that is the jewel of Krishna's pastimes. Fate has deprived me by not letting me hear the glorification of Radha. Anyone <coughs> anyone who associates with Radha's devotees and speaks about her rasa, <laughs> her pastimes, and her love. But anyone who is against this will never attain perfection. Let us not even hear these people's names. Don't give up. Mm. <laughs> so let us not even hear these people's names. Sri Dada's holy name is Ati Madura. Very sweet. God's name is naturally sweet and full of rasa. That is God's nature. But a tongue that is afflicted with the disease of jaundice cannot relish the sweetness of rock candy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Do you know this? Mm. Oh. 
You know, mm-hmm. everybody understand, right? Mm-hmm. Do you understand the disease when we have jaundice, when we are yellow? Uh, you cannot test the sweet. Sweet milk says bitter. Yeah. So the sweet becomes bitter. 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 In the same way, a person who pollutes his heart by committing offenses cannot taste the sweetness of the holy name. Yeah. Sri Krishna's name is the sweetest name of God. But Sri Radha's sweet name attracts even Sri Krishna. Yeah. And all name is Radha. All Diksha Mantra is Radha. Maha Mantra is Radha. This realization will come with my when sweetness will come. Radha. It's all name of Radha. All is Radha name. But this realization has to come. And without chanting, it will not realize. No test coming because we are Scottish person. We are present of Some disease is there. Some disease is there. Some offense with the other. sweetness is not there. Nati, good if Govinda Mohini didn't hear you, so I will repeat just for her translation. Gurudev said all the mantras, they are, in the end, they are Radha. They are her love and her devotion and her, her feelings. All our Gayatri mantras, our Diksha mantras, and also Maha mantra. And after that, Gurudev said, if we don't have no taste, if we don't have a feeling for com- connecting ourselves with Love is Shimati Radhika through these mantras. Oh, if we have lost some feelings or lost some taste, means we have a disease. There's something like the bitterness after you have jaundice or when you have jaundice, that is a fever kind of, you know, perversion of the tongue. Then you feel that everything that comes sweet on your tongue, it tastes bitter. That is the disease that we have as a conditioned soul. We are not attracted to the names of love or the names of divine love because we have some bitterness. We have a taste for external uh, things, external satisfaction. And I want to also add, Gurudev, by your mercy, you make it always clear to us the difference between the motivations in the service of Shimati Radhika or her beloved Mohan is, is, do I want you or do I want from you? 
this is always how you explain it and how it keeps in my consciousness so nicely, although I'm far away from that, but I know that is the goal. Because the queens of Dwaraka, for example, or me, I always think I want my husband and I want from him, I want to be safe, I want to be secure. But Shimati Radhika's love for Mohan is so unselfish that she says, oh, let him have all the gopis love because they love him even more than me. And she is putting that seed also in the hearts of her manjaris because she is the one who can only give us this selfless love. She, we can desire it, we can pray for it, maybe we can cry for it because we feel that I am not able to, to have this depth. I am very fallen. I, I see only myself like Chandravali. She, she sees how she will not step on Krishna's feet when she's dancing with him in Rasa dance, but she Matiradika, she is so full of mindness, so full of feelings for Krishna that she feels, you are mine. I don't want from you. I just want to give to you because you are mine anyway. And of course, we know that they are one and not different. So we need the seed of this love to become pure in my heart from Swamini herself. And this comes through the mercy of our Gurudev, through the mercy of our Vaishnavas who have love, who are more pure, who can also bless me to develop this purity in my heart that I don't want from others, but I want to give. I want to encourage and I want to see the love in all and everyone. And that will be the way how I can also be more loving and see love in everyone else and not put myself above everyone else, but put myself under everyone else. And that is only possible that Baba also says at the end of the purport, I already sneaked a little bit because sometimes at the end comes the best. And he says, <laughs> it is like this. And sometimes in our classes, we don't come to the very end. But he says, this unlimited sweetness of Shimati Radhika's love and her holy name, her sweet and rasic name is not only sweetness. This sweetness is so full of emotions that we cannot even imagine how many emotions are in her name that makes Krishna himself cry. But he says that it will be automatically revealed in the hearts of those greatly fortunate souls who attain the mercy of the great souls that are dedicated to the worship of Srimati Radharani. Yeah. So that is the mercy from those who have this love, we can get the love. And Krishna is the sweetest, but the sweet name attracts even Sri Krishna. The book Rasa Sagra says, O oh, living entity, you have wandered through the material world so many times. And thus you have sometimes relished sugared grape juice or condensed milk. And sometimes you went to heaven and relished nectar or the lips of the heavenly damsel Ramba. But tell me truly, did you ever experience the sweetness of pronouncing the two syllables Ra, Da? Anyone who brings the light 
of Radha's name in his heart will be showered by countless streams of sweet amorous rasa. The word Prak Baba means the seed. Just as the seed contains a huge tree, so the holy name of Radha also contains all the items of Mandari Bhava Sadhana. Sri Pada says, this unlimited sweetness will be automatically revealed in the hearts of those greatly fortunate souls who attain the mercy of the great souls that are dedicated to the worship of Srimati Radharani. Here ends verse 68. <laughs> Sankirtana, Radha, Sankirtana, the name of Radha is the most powerful way how to receive her darshan. And it's written here, we just read, the holy name of Radha also contains all items of Manjari Bhava Sadhana. Means what this feeling. They come in from the heart because of object. Object is present. We call him Radha. Makeshwari, Kriyeshwari, Sadeshwari, Sureshwari. It's Sankirtana. Before all 11 verses, it's prayer. But this is Sankirtana. We call him here. And she is appearing because. Feeling coming, so much feeling coming. And what I believe what's here is there is contact. Knowledge will come. I, I, I sorry, I not receive this knowledge, but it just inspired me. But I will receive by this way because I feel in your presence, in your name. <laughs> Yeah. So, Rudy, one stupid question comes to me like always because I'm a fool. <laughs> but why don't we just chant Radha then? Hmm. Actually, we chant or not chant, but name is there. It's understanding, realization is there. Like the Mahamantra, how much you will chant, then you will realize it. When the lamp will grow, then you will realize it. If not, then only Krishna and Rama. So it depends upon them how much what you want to search, where, and how much love is there. It's in the mercy of our Father. First day I cannot understand that, but slowly, slowly, 
when we go in deep, then everything is Radha. Everything without Radhika is not. Everything is Radha Sakti. It's the duty of Raja. Atoita Acharya. Why calling to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Because this in Kaliuga, without Radhika, there is no way alone Krishna to do something. Because they realize that there is only way of love. And the knowledge will not help us. Love can change the life. So the love can do it. Sivas whole life chanting Narayan. Why he will become punctual? Why he is praying Srivas and Adhata to three energy Nityananda Mahaprabhu? What do you see there? Nara, only Krishna, Balram. Radha Sakti. Radha as Mandiris, Anand Mandiris, Radha Rani. Radha Sakti, where every place we see Advaita and Srivas, and then they have become man. The two prayer, two is praying, and three are they are glorifying. Srivas is an Adi Guru and Mahavishnu is a Vishnu and Shiva both is Mahavishnu. They are praying to Radha. So all coming to the one point. Yes, we are. Tomorrow is Russian class. Govinda Mohani wants to meet uh, Jananta Maharaj, to be all to be there. You know, my health is not good, so I am not going. I like to attend all classes, but health-wise I am weak now. So you all have to do. And I want all of to join. They have to share to ask no problem. I feel happiness. 
Radha Govinda is my my friend, my lover. <laughs> All has to come. Everybody has to be there. I have no problem. Please invite them. This is my request for everyone. We have to be great with love. We have not to isolate we can. We are worshipping, worshipping to Radhika. We want to make more and more to share and love them feeling. We have to appreciate everything. We want to share. This is my wish. My love to all of you. Thank you.